There's a burgeoning new online movement billing itself as hashtag walk away, where once proud liberals denounce their former political identity as the left is moving further and further away from something called reality. But how serious is this campaign? The Washington Post, for one, says this isn't representative of some greater shift, but rather a figment of pro-Trump social media writing, quote, the walkaway meme is what happens when everything is viral and nothing matters. Joining us now to respond to that calumny is the founder of the movement, Brandon Straka. Hey, Brandon, how are you? Hi, Laura. I'm doing well. How are you? <laughs> Great to see you. Okay, I'm going to be devil's advocate. Okay? okay, devil's advocate time. Great. Now, this is Brandon, who is like, you're gay, hairdresser, uh, want to be an actor. And okay. now you're on TV. So yeah. are you punking us all? Am I going to like be, is like Ashton Kutcher going to come out and say, you're punked? Is this a big punk thing? It's 100% not a punk thing. I, I had a red pill experience in 2017 uh, after the election of Donald Trump. And as a matter of fact, I welcome anyone to go to my Facebook page where I still have videos up from 2016 in which I'm crying because Hillary Clinton didn't get elected. I was devastated. No, this is very, very real. <laughs> so what is it about the left today specifically that has made you walk away? You know what's so funny is I created that video a few months ago, and a few months ago my biggest concern was, uh, you know, the, 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 the nasty rhetoric, the, the intolerance, the, uh, the name calling, the judgment. That was just two months ago. And since this video came out, we've already seen a, a greater shift. Now I'm actually worried about violence. I'm actually, like, it's already changed in just two months from where, you know, what my concerns were just two months ago. Now I'm actually worried that we may be on the brink of a, an incredibly violent, you know, episode. Now, we also have had the election of uh, Ms. Ocasio-Cortez, Alexandria, right. in New York. She beats in this primary the number four guy in the House of Representatives, Joe Crowley, out of nowhere. Right. And this is how the, Dem and she's a avowed socialist. This right. is how the head of the Democratic National Committee describes her in this moment. Let's watch. Okay. The fourth most powerful Democrat in the United States Congress, uh, Congressman Joe Crowley, um, was knocked out by a young woman, Alex Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, 28 years old, never ran for office before. She represents the future of our party. Uh, she ran a spirited campaign. Future of our party. Yeah. She obviously is very young. She thinks basically everything should be free. You should get free college. Everybody's guaranteed dignified health care. I don't know exactly what that is, but right. free, 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 free. And apparently abolish ICE, so no, no yeah. crackdown on human smuggling, child sex trafficking. Right. It's wild out there. But she is the future, according to the Democratic National Committee chairman. Well, I think what they don't understand is that their party has no future. It's it's over, and that's exactly what this campaign that I've uh, that I'm I've started the walk away campaign is is proving. People are leaving the left by tens of thousands. My group is growing every day by tens of thousands, and it's amazing because it's actually happening on Facebook, and people are leaving testimonials. Uh, we're getting thousands of testimonials every day that are either through video or written word, where people are talking about how the 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 left has become intolerable to them. They don't even recognize their party anymore. And what do these people stand for? I I mean, what is their platform? All I can figure out so far is we hate Trump and we and we love illegal Im Ill illegal immigrants. And that's what else is there? Now, why you know, were you a Democrat before, Brandon? I'm just curious. What what drew you to be a Democrat? Be because I'm gay. I, yeah. I mean, that, that's I have it. a lot of gay friends who are not Democrats, by the way. And, and, and they, people think they're bizarre. And it's well, real. It's real intolerance toward them. Two of my friends who watch every night, you'll know well, I'm talking about you especially, uh, but they get a lot of CRAP from their pals, I can tell you that. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, and I used to be one of those people who would have given them that. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, I just, I think that if you're a minority in America, if you're a black person, if you're Hispanic, if you're gay, there's sort of this assumption that you are not wanted on the right, that you're not welcome on the right, and that you will be protected and cared for if you 
go to the left and you stick with the liberals and the Democrats. But we've seen now that that's absolutely not true. They really take us for granted. And beyond taking us for granted, they actually, for gay people, have used uh, our fears and our traumas against us, trying to keep us in this constant state of feeling like we're afraid or our rights are in danger or the Trump administration's out to hurt us. And that really upsets me. I want gay people, I want all people, but particularly minorities in America, to know you have a choice. You don't have to vote Democrat just because you're a gay person. You don't have to vote Democrat just because you're a black person. If you're a minority, you have a choice. And that's what this campaign's about. Well, Brandon, we really appreciate your joining us. And we welcome all people to the conservative movement, the Republican Party. And we're really glad you're out there. So thank you so much. And thank you so much, Laura. Wh whether or not the walkaway campaign becomes an actual political force, well, we'll see.